Hi folks, this is Manindra. Here now I'm going to explain you about uh, SAL stack and uh, make you understand about uh, why SAL stack and why we use it. So let's get into the topic. So understanding of SAL stack. So let's get into it. So, so what is SAL stack? So generally we get that. what is a SAL stack and why do we use it and where we do we use it. So generally SAL stack is like a new approach to infrastructure management where it's built on a dynamic communication and it can be used for data driven and remote execution of infrastructure and configuration management. So generally we do it for its SAL stack is generally based on infrastructure management. So, why why is it used? So generally, we have many reasons why SAL stack is used. So generally, like most of the like uh, high level reasons are, so its configuration style, it's pretty much different from its competitors like Puppet and Chef. So and one more feature is it's an open source tool and here we no, no pay for a pro feature so mean like uh, we no need to pay for n pro features and we have a large vibrant communicator and developing community so generally like uh, where we use it so salt is deployed on a master server and the deployment can be done based on the master to all the childs. Here we don't use a terminology called child instead of we use a term called minion. So from next on let we we'll use salt master and the minion. Salt master is a main server and minion is a child nodes. So generally salt stack is used where we have 10 to or like uh, maybe 1000 or um, maybe larger than that so we used to deploy so those servers in a very efficient way in a similar fashion so let me move, move to the next slide so salt approach to infrastructure so okay coming to what is real-time communication here what happens is all the minions receive the command simultaneously means at a time so we have different types of communications where we can do targeting targeting in a sense we can target each minion at a time suppose if you want to target specific minions means servers like uh, pretend you see five servers so there is a targeting mechanism here and it takes a similar time to execute the commands or deploy the environment or you can say that these commands to be executed on the minion so it is similar to both as 10 minions or 1000 minions or you can go for an example like maybe 10,002 and so sal scales means like it can vary from many it can deploy a large number of systems in as i said in real-time communication it does similar uh, forms of executions so here it uses zero mq or raw tcp to communicate to different uh, minions and here it, it, it uh, establishes a persistent data pipeline where it is secure through its communication and it normalizes everything so normalization means it doesn't differentiate the operating systems here the operating systems are one and the same for its master so salt commands and its states run same across all the platforms so take example of Linux or um, Windows or Mac it is similar as we install just the minion on the minions setup and we, we if you have a master 
and it can be either Linux or Windows, anything we can act as master and it can deploy it on any other environment. So here it normalizes everything. So manage everything. So it manages all the configuration. Salt runs everything that Python runs. For those who can't manage the Python, you can like what we can do is we can install a proxy minion. So which what it does is it supports any network uh, protocol and it re reflects replicates as its of uh, salt uh, protocol and automation stuff so here uh, in uh, highlighted point about salt is salt is an event driven infrastructure so these uh, commands can be event driven and uh, maybe this infrastructure can be uh, based on this uh, modifications or any time stamp it can be triggered so there are certain plugins in this uh, salt configuration that the plugins are uh, maybe like uh, file servers infrastructure and tools various things in the plugins so let's go to the communication so here is the architectural model of uh, communication so here we are uh, talking from the real uh, last slide is uh, we have uh, salt master here and we have salt minions so one server acts as a master and the other server acts as a minion and let's get to the communication model so how does uh, salt communicate is it has a publisher which publishes the executable commands to the master and it sends the request the minion sends the request whether it is successful or not or anything like uh, is there any deployed deployment failures or the success rate it will be sent to the master so how does this communication happen so is, is it like uh, it accepts all the communication so it can't be secured right if uh, there is no proper uh, valid uh, ports so here we do have separate ports for salt and minion servers which is 4505 and 4506 so these ports should be enabled both on salt master and salt minion and next uh, like uh, we'll uh, have a look at salt minion authentication so here we have an architectural uh, diagram showing how uh, salt and uh, minion uh, authenticate so after our uh, setup of the master and the minion these minions when the minions are configured and started it will check for the host name called salt so by default the host name of the master will be salt so it will it will check salt minion will check for host name called uh, salt and it will send its minion public key to the salt master so here the role of the salt master is to accept the salt minion keys so that there will be an authentication between master and the minion so how do we accept the keys so we have we do have certain commands so here are it salt hyphen key hyphen f accept it accepts all it accepts the keys of the minion and here you can see the next command is salt star test dot ping which is to verify whether the communication between the minion and the salt are done next so the ports communication can be validated through telnet so i will uh, get to that in the next uh, session and the system data here so here there will be a communication between salt and master and the data is differentiated in two variants 
one is the grain and other is the pillar so salt grains here the salt grains is a terminology in the salt they are generally called as grains here what we do what does this grains does is it is the data of the minion which is of uh, no, uh, static you can say let like data of operating system hardware memory of the minion like all the system related uh, information will be in the brains but whereas we have pillar pillar is an uh, user defined uh, information which is dynamic and uh, this data will be deployed into the minions yeah this is the end of uh, thing